Hello and welcome to another Budget and Leggett video. Today we're going to show you how to test an airbag. This one's off a of Peugeot, but they're more or less all the same. This one has two trigger points, so it's, it's a double trigger airbag. So maybe only have one. Not in the world, we just need to do two, two tests on this. Uh, we've done a video on this Peugeot. We do have an airbag light on, so I'll link that down below if, you, if you're having problems with your airbag light on your Peugeot. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to test an airbag. The only difference is you really need to know is your resistance. Uh, we're just going to essentially do a resistance test. Uh, some airbags might differ, so you kind of need to know what your resistance level will be. Now, a lot of people are scared about airbags. You think if they disconnect, it's going to blow up in your face. You can't do anything. You have to disconnect the battery. You have to wait five minutes for it all to discharge. You don't. You really, you just don't. Airbags are very, very safe. The only way it'll blow is if you put 12 volts to it. Now, even if I put 12 volts to this, this will not blow. And the reason why, you're not going to be able to see, but in, well, actually, you might. If you see the two gold pins sticking up, and you can kind of see two gold pins on the bottom, them two gold pins on the bottom, when you disconnect the plug, they grind, they um, ground out the two pins. They're called ground pins. So this now cannot go off. It just cannot go off. If you plug the connection in and put 12 volt to it, yes, it will go off. But if you do that and you're holding it, well, you're a bell end. It's as simple as that. You're just a bell end. So airbags are very, very safe. You do not have to disconnect the battery. If you watch my video, you'll see I didn't disconnect the battery. There was no fear of it going off. Um, they're not as bad or as dangerous as most people think. So getting now to the actual test in it. Very simple, you just need a multimeter with a resistance test on it. Really is as simple as that. The hardest thing is, what we need to do is, we need to get the ground pins and we need to push them back. And we need to do it with both. You can't see the other one in there. I'm just gonna do it with one just to show you, but if you've got a two trigger airbag, you just do it on both sides. It really is as simple as that. Let's get this on the bench and get you a bit closer. So what you need to do is, you need to turn your multimeter onto, um, your ohm setting. Now, just ohm my leads out. There we go. Now, if I was to test it now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip these clips, if I can pull this off. If I was to test it now, it's not gonna work because we've got them two grounding pins are touching our connection. So as we can see, that's essentially what we've got. Um, which is no good, but we've got our grounding pins in there, so we know that's why it's given us a false reading. The way I found is kind of one of the easiest ways is just get, just got a cable tie, and I'm just going to push one of the pins down. That's all I'm going to do. Just get the pin, stop the pin from touching. Simple as that. That's, oh, don't knock it. So the pin now is not, the, the earthen pin is not striking the pins I'm testing. So I'm just gonna put my meter back on it. As we can see, 2.2, 2.67, let it kind of, 2.5. That is absolutely fine for this particular airbag. So we can tell 2.2. We can tell very, very simple that this airbag is perfect. Essentially, just do exactly the same with the other one. Very simple. If you're reading, if, if you put it on and you're reading like that, like an open circuit or something, you know you've got a problem. Or if you test it and you've knocked the pins off and we've still got essentially nothing, you know you have a problem with your airbag. Very, very simple test. You just need to know your resistance of your airbag. Most cars are in between 2.5, 2.2, here in Ireland, the UK. I don't know about anywhere else in the world, but that's essentially what they are here. Um, your seats are slightly different, but your airbag, your actual driver's airbag is in and around there. So that's, that's how you test it. And it is very, very easy, as you can see. And there you go. So we know this airbag is good. Sorted. So, very simple how to test an airbag. If you want to see how we took that airbag off and did the other test, I'll link the video down below to the Peugeot we actually did that on. What I actually want before I go is um, 
I'm trying to get more people to go onto the forum to ask questions because I just don't have the time to answer most of the questions. And I'm just getting inundated with questions at the minute. And it is very difficult because I do everything myself, try to run this place, do the YouTube videos and everything. It is, I don't really have a lot of time. So I want to try and get people to be asking questions on the forum, which all the links are down below, so we can get other mechanics hopefully to join. And when someone asks a question, you can get a few different answers from a few different people and it just kind of take the pressure off me a little bit and we can get like a community going on um, questions and answers and stuff like that to help everybody out. So yeah, look, that's it, sorted. See you for the next one. Get your hands dirty.